The overall goal of the following experiment is to isolate viable myogenic and adipogenic progenitor cells from murine skeletal muscle. This is achieved by first harvesting muscle tissue from euthanized mice. As a second step, the sample is enzymatically digested which dissociates the tissue into single cells. Next, fluorescence activated cell sorting or FACS is used in order to isolate the progenitor cells. Results are obtained that show viability and differentiation of the isolated cells when transplanted into recipient mice based on histochemical staining for the genetic label, which in this example is human alkaline phosphatase. The main advantage of this technique over pre-existing techniques like pre-plating is that the cells can be isolated directly from the animal at different time points, for example, after inducing tissue damage, which means there is no selection on the cell population, and the cell population can be analyzed at the molecular level to look at the different stages that the cells cross during the process of in vivo regeneration. So this technique can help answer critical questions in the tissue regeneration field and in particular what role each cell type plays during in vivo regeneration and how do these cell types interact with each other to rebuild a healthy tissue. The implication of this technique extends toward the therapy of diseases such as muscular dystrophy as the study of these progenitors can eventually enable regenerative strategies for this type of diseases. In addition, the implications of this technique extend to a number of other tissues ranging from heart to adipose because at least the fibroadipogenic progenitors have been found in every single tissue we tested so far. Generally, newcomers to this technique will struggle because harsh dissociation techniques will reduce cell viability and will create too much debris which will then interfere with the clean separation.